from Perlac State University College of Nursing, BSN2B. So for today, we will performing the perlite procedure. So we have the purpose. So uh, application of the dry heat to perineal area in the uh, order to provide the comfort and increases the blood circulation of, and the uh, hasen wound healing by means of this perlite perineal lump brother so we have the assessment so for the assessment uh, check the client's conditions before applying this procedure and then gather all the equipment for the planning we have here the equipment needed for the procedures we will render to the patients and then we have here the uh, peri light or the heat lump and then the blanket and then I don't have the perennial flashing set. So I have here um, some of my equipment. And then after that is check the clinical equipment for the defects or uh, try to switch it on and off. Yan. And then after that, always handle equipment with dry hand to avoid the electrified. And then for the, uh, check the physician's order for each area to the, uh, to be treated and durations of the, uh, therapy. And then after that, uh, for the performance, uh, which is, uh, identify the client and, uh, introduce yourself. So, hello ma'am, I'm your nurse Arlene for today po. May I know your name ma'am? Can I see your stub po? Um, kailan po yung birthday nyo, ma'am? Okay. Um, ilan taon na po kayo, ma'am? Okay po. And then after that is explain to the patient what you're going to do and uh, explain uh, and how the client can cooperate to you. So, ma'am, this procedure po is gagawin po natin yung very late procedure and I hope po is makikipag-cooperate po kayo sa akin para maging maayos po yung um, procedure na gagawin po natin sa inyo. And then, after that is um, perform the hand hygiene and observe the appropriate infections control. So, I'm done uh, wash my hands. So, I will use this alcohol to remove all the microorganisms. And then, after that is provide the uh, client privacy close the curtain and the door and then after that is have an adequate lightning yan and then after that is uh, render perennial flashing taas lang po natin ma'am Then after that, water, and then dry it. And then, after that, place the patient into the lithotomy position. So, let's assume that this is a equipment, a perfect equipment for the lithotomy position. And then, cover with the blanket. And then after that, place the heat lamp under the blanket about 
18 to 24 inches from the perineum to avoid burning the uh, patient. And then instruct the patient to uh, not to change position nor touch lamp during the entire procedure. So, ma'am, wag po tayong galaw ng galaw uh, during this procedure para hindi po tayo magkaroon ng any kinds of complications. And then, after that is assess the client regularly and then check for any discomfort, burning reactions or untoward reactions. And then, after that is remove the lamp after 15 minutes or uh, as ordered by the physicians and uh, check area and towards reactions. And then after that is um, reposition the client into the or the patient into the comfortable position. So, mamaalisin lang po natin itong And ma'am, are you comfortable po sa position po ngay nyo ngayon? Okay po ma'am. And then after that is uh, inspect the equipment for the regular basis. So check the um, heat lump, the equipment. And then after that is document the findings in the uh, client record using the forms or the uh, checklist. And then... Uh, supplemented by the narrative uh, notes when uh, appropriate. And then for the, uh, after that is do after care is to return the equipment into the proper storage or the uh, proper places. And then after that for the evaluation is perform the uh, follow-up based on the uh, findings that deviated into the from the expected or normal for the client and then relate for the uh, findings to the previous data if it is available and then after that is report significant deviations from the normal to primary care provider so the patient is um i see uh, normal Normal lang po yung ano niya, yung mga nakita natin sa kanya and there is no abnormalities during the uh, prairie life procedure. So, thank you po ma'am and then thank you po. And then after that is um, perform the hand hygiene and observe the appropriate infections control. So, I'm done uh, wash my hands so I will use this alcohol to remove all the microorganisms.